हेलो गाइज इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव गिवन दैट इंटीग्रेशन ए टू बी मोड ऑफ साइन एक्स डी एक्स इक्वल टू एट इट मींस एल्जेब्रिक एरिया कवर्ड बाय मोड ऑफ साइन एक्स बिटवीन ए टू बी इज इक्वल टू एट एंड इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू ए प्लस बी मोड ऑफ कोस एक्स डी एक्स इक्वल टू नाइन इट मीन्स एल्जेब्रिक एरिया कवर्ड बाई मोड ऑफ कोस एक्स बिटवीन जीरो टू ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू नाइन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड बी फ्रॉम दीज टू एंड देन वी विल यूज दैट वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड बी to find out the value of 1 by root 2 pi in mode of integration a to b x sin x dx so first we have integration a to b mode of sin x dx equal to 8 to solve this we draw the graph of mode of sin x this is my x axis this is y axis and this is the graph of mode of sin x this my point 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi first we will find out the area covered by mode of sin x between 0 to pi it means area of this loop that is integration 0 to pi in 0 to pi mode of sin x equal to sin x so sin x dx integration of sin x is minus cos x limit 0 to pi or it can be written as minus cos pi minus minus cos 0 when we solve it we get This is equal to two. So area covered by mode of sine x between zero to pi is two. It means area for this loop is two. Similarly, for this loop two. Similarly, these two loops will also cover area two. So when the difference between upper limit and lower limit is four pi, the area covered by mode of sine x will be equal to eight. Now for the second, we have integration zero to a plus b mode of cos x dx equal to nine. So first we draw the graph of mode of cos x, that is my x axis, y axis. This is the graph of mode of cos x. This point is zero, pi by two, three pi by two, five pi by two, seven pi by two, nine pi by two. Now we will find out the area covered by mode of cos x between zero to pi by two. That is integration zero to pi by two in zero to pi by two mode of cos x equal to cos x dx. Integration of cos x is sin x limit zero to pi by two that is equal to one. It means area of this is one. Since it is symmetrical about y axis, so area for this loop will be two, and these three loops will have the same area two. So when the difference between upper limit And lower limit, we find out that the area covered by mode of cos x is equal to nine. It means limit a plus b minus zero equal to nine pi by two. Now we have two equations between a and b. First equation, this is my second equation. When we solve these two equations, we get a equal to pi by four, b equal to seventeen pi by four. Now we have to find out the value of one by Root two pi mode of integration a to b x sin x dx that is equal to one by root two pi mode of integration pi by four to seventeen pi by four x sin x dx. Now we solve it separately, and we will use islet here. We get pi by four to seventeen pi by four. x sin x dx suppose this is my first function and this is my second function first function same as integration of second function that is minus cos x limit pi by 4 to 17 pi by 4 minus differentiation of first function integration of second function and limit pi by 4 to 17 pi by 4 now we solve it further we get Seventeen pi by four minus cos seventeen pi by four minus pi by four minus cos pi by four minus minus plus and integration of cos x is sine x and limit is pi by four to seventeen pi by four. Seventeen pi by four can be written as four pi plus pi by four. It means mode of minus cos. Pi by four, and it can be written as minus pi by four, minus cos pi by four, 
प्लस साइन पाई बाई फोर माइनस साइन पाई बाई फोर दिज टू कैंसल्स आउट इस अदर वी गेट माइनस वन बाई रूट टू आउट साइड इन साइड सेवनटीन पाई बाई फोर माइनस पाई बाई फोर दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्सटीन पाई बाई फोर रूट टू और दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर पाई बाई रूट टू नाव वी पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इंटीग्रेशन इन साइड द गिवन एक्सप्रेशन वी गेट वन बाई रूट टू पाई माइनस फोर पाई बाई रूट टू वी गेट दिस वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू टू सो टू टू इज द करेक्ट आंसर